Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. This file is being recorded for the September 2021 edition of Socialism for All. And it's an audiobook and actual audio from Gramophone of Lenin's On Labor Discipline from March 1919. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe and consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link to Patreon in the video description. So, again, recorded in March 1919. This is about a year and a half after the October Revolution of 1917. And the Bolsheviks had begun the process of constructing Soviet Russia, eventually the Soviet Union, and that's where this address from Lenin comes in. So I'm going to do an audiobook of the English translation first, and then I'm going to play the original Russian audio, again recorded on gramophone by Lenin himself, and I'll post the English translations on the screen with each section of the text. So let's get into the audiobook. How was it that we conquered Udenich, Kolchak, and Denikin, although they had help from capitalists of the whole world? Why are we sure that we will now overcome the ruin and rebuild our industry and agriculture? We overcame the landlords and capitalists because members of the Red Army, workers and peasants, knew that they were fighting for their vital interest. We won because the best people of the entire working class and the entire peasantry showed unprecedented heroism in this war against exploiters, accomplished miracles of bravery, suffered unprecedented deprivations, sacrificed themselves, and mercilessly banished the self-seekers and cowards. Now, we are convinced that we will conquer the devastation of our land because the best of the entire working class and the entire peasantry are just as conscientiously, firmly, and heroically rising to struggle. And when millions of working people unite as one man, and follow the best of their class, then the victory is guaranteed. The self-seekers have been banished from the army. We all say now, down with the self-seekers, down with those who think about their own benefit, speculation, shirking one's work, who fear the sacrifices which are necessary for victory. Long live the labor discipline, fervor in work, devotion to the workers and peasants' cause, eternal glory for those who perished in the first ranks of the Red Army, eternal glory for those who now lead with the millions of working people, advancing with the utmost fervor in the first ranks of the army of labor. And that's the end of the audiobook, so we're going to switch now to the original audio. Мы победили помещиков и капиталистов потому, что красноармейцы, рабочие и крестьяне знали, что они борются за свое кровное дело. Мы победили потому, что лучшие люди всего рабочего класса и всего христианства проявили невиданный героизм в этой войне с эксплуататорами, совершали чудеса храбрости, переносили неслыханные решения, жертвовали собой, Гоняли беспощадно шкурников и трудов. И теперь мы уверены, что победим разруху, потому что лучшие люди всего рабочего класса и всего христианства так же сознательно, с такой же твердостью, с таким же героизмом поднимаются на борьбу. А когда миллионы трудящихся объединяются как один человек, идя за лучшими людьми своего класса, тогда победа обеспечена. Из армии прогнали шкурников. И все мы скажем теперь, долой шкурников. Долой тех, кто думает о своей выгоде, о спекуляции, о подплынивании от работы, кто боится необходимых для победы жертв. Да здравствует трудовая дисциплина, рвение в труде, преданность рабочему и крестьянскому делу. Вечная слава тем, кто погиб в первых рядах Красной Армии, Вечная слава тем, кто ведет за собой тебе миллионы трудящихся, я наибольшим рвением в первых рядах армии труда.